Welcome to Yuri Experience and today I want to talk to you about me being too tolerant. Yes, you heard it right. I think that I become a little bit too tolerant. And yes, I do think that you can be too tolerant, too righteous, trying to get way too much fairness in the world. I think I became one of these people. Hopefully not way too much, but still more than I think is fair and more that I think aligns to my personal rules for my life. And that is what I want to talk about with you today, about this whole idea of am I too much? Am I too tolerant? Are you too tolerant? Maybe you are there, but let's talk about it. But obviously, before we start, I have to tell you that this is your experience and here I share my various opinions about different topics. I do two videos per week, Mondays and Thursdays. If you will enjoy this video, please drop a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. Let us begin. I will provide you two reasons why I personally think that I am too tolerant which are actually connected to each other. And also I will provide you a couple of examples of some of expectations that I had like until recently and then I understood uh, no, somehow it doesn't feel right. And we start with unrealistic expectations towards pretty much everything, towards other people, towards the world, towards some systems and whatnot. There are a lot of expectations towards them and I think that some of my expectations towards our systems are just... Yeah, it doesn't work like that. I will provide you a couple of examples later, but now the small example. Expectations from different companies. The main target of most companies is to earn money. It's just how it works. That's pretty much... Yeah, it's how it works for most companies. It doesn't matter actually in which system, in a capitalistic or in a socialistic system. And yes, they can maybe wish for some fairness and try to fight for the world or maybe do their best to make the world a, a better place. But at the end of the freaking day, their target is profit. If they don't have profit, they will not exist. They will cease to exist, which is why it is unrealistic to expect a company to be perfect, to be to do everything right, if, like in all the categories. In my personal opinion, it is not possible to do everything right, which is why, yeah, most of the companies do prioritize profit over sometimes ethics or fairness or fair pay or whatnot. And the second reason, which as I mentioned already is connected to the first one, is a disconnect from reality and from real people. Real people and reality has its own rules. And based on these rules, people tend to do stuff in a specific way, or people tend to think in a specific way, or companies tend to work in a specific way, as I mentioned already in the previous small example. Like, companies have to make profit. So it is a reality that we live in. We are not living in reality where companies can just exist by creating some products and sending them into the world. It's not how the world works. And similarly, for example, real people are not perfect. It is impossible to expect a person to be perfect at each and everything and be able to do pretty much everything with high precision. Let's be real. It's not really possible for real people. But let us go to examples. In my personal opinions, examples are better than anything else that I will provide you in this video. So everything that I provided up until now doesn't matter. Anyway, first example, in my personal opinion, it is strange to expect people to be tolerant towards other people or, or, the, or towards some situations if they didn't even had a similar experience like they didn't have experience with such people or with different people than themselves or with uh, some specific situations or companies or whatnot. And you can tell me there is empathy. And with empathy, each and every person can understand pretty much everybody and can feel for them and can try to be tolerant towards them because they understand their feeling. And for these people, I would say first, no, not everybody has such super levels of empathy in order to understand pain of each and every person but on the other hand not everybody does want to do that and the main point 
in my personal experience, you need to have experience in order to empathize with some different people. If you have never talked to a black person, which is pretty much normal stuff, for example, for Russia, if you have never talked to a black person, like how can you know how this person feels, what culture this person possess? And depending on where that black person is from, there can be different answers to both of these questions. And since most of people are normally kind of not welcoming towards new stuff and towards stuff that they don't know, obviously a lot of not tolerant people just don't have any experience and they will probably never have it with some specific people, with such specific groups of people and whatnot. Which is why, although it is pretty bad that they have some specific opinions sometimes, but you need, you shall not forget the grain of salt. Like if you don't know that two plus two is four, if you were not learned how to do basic arithmetics, you will not know how does it work, right? Same stuff with tolerance or with, with behaving towards new kinds of people or companies. If you were never learned how to behave with these people, what these people represent, then how, to, how can you know how to do it? Obviously, there are people who are better at it, like high empathy people or whatnot, but to expect it from everybody, it is unrealistic, in my personal opinion. The second example slash reason, I just mix them up because why not? Uh, why I am maybe way too tolerant and I think that people are sometimes way too tolerant is because people can adapt to pretty much everything in this freaking world. And if the person doesn't have any experience with this kind of aggressor, this person will never know how to behave towards this aggressor. For example, we have a person from LGBTQ plus community and that person doesn't have any experience with homophobic people. And then that person comes to a country which has some level of homophobic, homophobic thoughts and ideas. It doesn't have to be radical or critical where people are killed if you are a homosexual person. No, just some homophobic ideas because people are not used to people that are homosexuals. They don't have experience with them. Maybe they are, they have some bad thoughts about that too, because traditional family values, but overall they're just eh, till like eh, and we make jokes about it, which is not tolerant for a lot of people. And this person from LGBTQ plus community will struggle to live in a place where are a lot of homophobic people, or at least so at some level of homophobic ideas, because that person doesn't know how to behave, how to deal with them, how to work around it, how to like understand that these people just have opinions, they will not do anything to you, and maybe their opinions are actually not as homophobic as you think, just your idea or your expectations of what is homophobic and what not is maybe a little bit too high for the place you are currently in. Obviously, there shall be borders for this idea in my personal experience. For the same example with LGBTQ plus person, if that person goes to a country where people are killed, if you are a homosexual person, that person, yeah, it is a bad stuff that exists. But some level of discomfort is kinda okay for the world. The world is not like that, we will provide you everything on a pillow. No, the world will provide you a lot of discomfort during your life. So getting used to it in small amounts, in fair amounts, is better than not understanding what is going on and it just falls all over you. The last reason slash example is life isn't good, life isn't fair, life isn't equal, life isn't safe, life isn't ethical, life isn't perfect. And since life isn't perfect it doesn't matter how much you try and it shall not be your thought all the time but still it doesn't matter how much you try there always will be people who will be able to trigger you or to uh, like blame something on you or to badmouth you because of something about you there will always be people and to expect that this will go away at some point in our existence is unrealistic. We are moving in a good direction. 
let's be honest like life right now is way better than it was 20 years ago so based on different social questions but to say it will be perfect is unrealistic at least in my personal experience and in my so according to my knowledge and if you think there can be just some small changes of thoughts and we will get to that point no because there are way more cultures that probably you know that have different ideas from yours which are maybe not wrong because these ideas do exist and they don't harm other people but they, these, these ideas are different from yours which is why expect life to work according to your rules according to your expectations according to your tolerance level according to your wishes and what how good you think the world is is unrealistic in my personal opinion the world will always find a way to be worth than you think you can think about the world pretty bad and the world will still find a way at least based on my experience so be realistic about it the world will never be perfect just try to work with the real world i would call it like that and that is basically my end thought for this video in my personal opinion we shall not try to make imaginary world world fantasy worlds that we have in our heads where everything is perfect everything is ethical each person is treated equally we shall not try to make this ideal world real because in my personal opinion it is impossible what we shall try to do is to look into the world like understand how the world works how real life works not ideal idea but real life works and try to make it better go from there go from below higher not from high lower like try let's make real life better instead of trying to make fantasy life real because i think it is a better way to do it let's go up together higher together but let's stay realistic let's not be too tolerant let's not shame people who have different ideas or maybe are not as tolerant as we are or as you are or as i am only because they have different experience maybe they don't have a need to be tolerant maybe their needs are actually they ba their basic needs are not covered and you expect them to have high ethical values but they don't have something to eat be real and by that i mean like not be cool and stuff like understand that the world is not a magic place where every person has everything no most of us don't have enough and we just live that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please drop a like you can also subscribe to the channel except for that i see you on monday have a great weekend